Hello, I'm Laura. And I'm Gabriella. And today we're going to find and we're going to do an investigation about the total dissolved solids in these in different water sources. So here are the samples of water. The S stands for total dissolved solids, and the D is the measurement to find the materials that are dissolved in water. First, to find the total dissolved solids in these samples. We're going to weigh this, this evaporating basin and we're going to pour the sample in the measuring cylinder and transfer it to the evaporating basin. After that, I'm going to, we're going to put it on the tripod stand and we're going to heat it. And then after heating occurs, um, we switch, uh, obviously um, water vapor rises. Then after it rises, um, we switch off the Bunsen burner and water vapor rises. Um, we will find its mass and then we are going to divide um, the dissolved solids and um, the solids divided by the volume of the uh, water evaporated 42.735 grams okay As you can see, the water vapor um, the, the, is evaporating uh -huh. and the solids are, are starting to form by time. As time goes on. As you can see, the solids ha have, have been formed yet, yeah? although but bubbles, they are starting. bubbles exactly. are starting to form. As time went by, these salt crystals started to form, the salt white crystals started to form. And even as um, boiling occurs, more salt crystals will form and even some other solids. Um, now um, salt crystals are about to form and so um, we pull the Bunsen burner in and out as to, um, prevent, um, as to prevent it from cracking. So, after we um, evaporated the, the water vapor, a lot of salt crystals formed, and now I'm going to reweigh it after. Forty-two. Forty-two point six zero three grams. I'm going to do the same with the other evaporating pieces. Forty seven point seven eight three grams. Okay. Mm -hmm. 